How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to do a RAM upgrade on a HP EliteBook 840 G5. This is an amazing business laptop or a work laptop. It's a pretty easy upgrade. I got a 2x8 gigabytes of RAM from Amazon.com. I'm just going to pop the bottom off, put the RAM in, put the bottom back on. If you haven't already given the video a thumbs up, please do. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the bottom of the computer. Six Phillips head screws and I'm going to use the double zero screw tip from my little kit here and just start taking these guys out one by one. Once you get these six screws out right here, you're going to take your Phillips head and there's two more black screws right in here. And those will release as well without actually coming out of the computer. They're held in by some sort of something on the bottom of the case. Then you're gonna take a plastic razor blade. I prefer these because they don't scratch up the aluminum. You're gonna pry up one corner and then run it right along the front here, releasing some clips, and then you're gonna run it along the side, splitting the case, and then you should be able to lift that case right off. You can see all the clips on that side that you need to release. Uh, there's a look at the front, and then the same on this side. There's some clips all the way to the back and then it kind of just lifts off. That was the, probably the most difficult part of this entire procedure. If you were having to change the battery on this, it's not that difficult. All you would have to do is take off this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw with a Torx. A Torx T8 would fit that perfectly fine. Then you would disconnect to this battery connector. The battery would lift out and then you would just take the old battery out, put the new battery in and then reattach, screw, 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 plug it back in and should be good to go. If you were changing the hard drive, you have one Phillips head screw right here, you would lift out that solid state drive, put a new one in, screw it back down, pretty straightforward, but we're not doing that, we're gonna be working on the RAM. There's one eight gigabyte stick in here and we ordered two crucial eight gigabyte RAM sticks off of Amazon. This is DDR4 2666 megahertz. Take this one out. All you do is you push these two little tabs out. You can lift it out. We're gonna put that to the side and we're going to install these two matching crucial RAM sticks that we got. All you're gonna do is press it in like that and then press down. It'll click and then we're gonna take the other one. Same thing press it in like that and then press it down and it will click. Pretty straightforward. Now we're going to reinstall the bottom case. It only goes one way. So you have to just orient it and then you're going to press down on those clips kind of evenly and it should start snapping into place and then you're going to screw back in all six screws and then those two little black screws right there. Now I'm gonna boot the computer back on and see that it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It did do the post error just saying that the RAM has changed. I just had to hit enter and now it's going to let me boot into Windows. Super fast boot from that solid state drive. I'm gonna go to this PC, right click, properties, and there we are with our 16 beautiful gigabytes of RAM. It was a pretty easy upgrade. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already given the video a thumbs up, please do. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.